Okay. Let's get it, boys. For the glory of mankind. This thing. Look at this thing. YouTube, welcome back to another video. And today I don't have much of a normal video because I kind of just decided why not do this video. Uh, this is kind of going to be a near automata gameplay. This isn't going to be a, a full walkthrough of it or anything. This is just going to be a one take kind of thing and uh, I did hear many good things about this game I know there's gonna be a sequel or a prequel to this game uh, coming out next year called near replicant version one point something something uh, either way I just wanted to take the time to maybe give you guys a look at this game maybe if you have never played this game maybe you've never looked at it it is from a Japanese developer it originally came out on PlayStation 4 and then made its way to Xbox and PC so not a normal video just gonna be a one take video kind of showing you guys near automata I've personally have been really enjoying this game and hopefully you guys do too okay and here we are so I'm really just gonna kind of show you guys around tell you guys what's up so this is a little bit um, this is still the beginning of the game uh, I've gotten a little bit into it, so I've already discovered the desert area, this like desert area, and then this other area, uh, where you start at this factory area, so I've been past that, and I'm at this place called the Resistance Camp. Now, I think what's really interesting, other than the main character right here, who looks really hot, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you guys, um, I think the really good thing about this game is not just the story or any of that, but the characters and the... The way you're allowed to move around in this world along with the customization. Um, so now heading out of the resistance camp, you can see a much broader world, a much more wider world. And this this uh, story kind of is very interesting. And I felt like this game really deserved its own video. So just kind of showing you guys, this is a kind of third person RPG game, which uh, takes place in the year. I'm not quite sure what year it takes place, but I know it's some sometime in the far future um what from what i know right now apparently humanity was invaded by aliens and they used these machines to take over the earth which forced humanity to move to the moon and humanity then counterattacked like 200 years later but failed and now we're at another point in time in which not, they haven't quite specified what time period this is but it is far future and now humanity has sent these people they aren't human they are androids to try to retake the earth from the machines so that's why you can see how they move is different and you know, they're not like regular humans but this game is really just something else i mean i'm i'm telling you right now i've played this game for two to three days and i'm honestly really impressed by how they've you know the gameplay just feels phenomenal that's one thing the graphics are not that bad at all and uh yeah let's just get into a mission real quick show you guys a little bit more about how the combat's like and just how more of the gameplay yeah just look around just take a second to look around take everything in right now i am heading to a other part another part of the world and it is an android camp or not an android camp, a machine camp. Now these are friendly machines. They have their own little village. And I'm not really going to explain it too much. Because I feel like... I don't know. It's just good to for you guys to look at it and see what you guys think about it. Your first impressions. So here I'm going to talk to this little android, Pascal. And it kind of has this like old style kind of... It's weird. There's different gameplay elements to it. Which is really what makes this game interesting. Um, so yeah. Uh, right now, what has happened is this Pascal robot gave me an oil filter, which I gave to the resistance camp leader, and now I'm returning the favor by providing oil to the machines. And uh, this is kind of how it evolves. So it's kind of interesting to see how the relationship between the androids and the machines uh, are. See, and it even explains if only all androids and machines could look together. And the music is phenomenal, also. You could help me out some of the other machines as well, though. Okay. After all, the only way to understand someone is to get to know them. Isn't that right? Fair enough. Well, 
What's so that now? noise? Tubi, Ooh. this is an emergency transmission from oh, the bunker. No. We're reading a Goliath class enemy inside the city ruins. And it oh, looks no. like there are a ton of other machines there with it. All your hut units should proceed and engage immediately. Oh a Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it. Shit. So now we gotta head back to the I city ruins. You. We were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low, but I hope you will nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. Gotta head back to the city ruins. Something's going on. I honestly didn't expect this. Oh no. What the hell's happening? 2B. Command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates. Nice. So let's get going. These oh. flight units are kind of like Gundam. Uh, Gundam like little mech suits. Which are pretty badass. Oh! What is attacking? Holy shit! Wait. How big is this thing? This is actually my first time playing this, so I'm 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 reacting to this live with you guys. Oh, I don't know what mission this is, but we're being attacked by the live. Let me get to a higher vantage point. What the hell is attacking me? Oh my god! What the fuck? Holy shit! Sh the flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going oh anywhere my unless we can. Oh my god! Look at the lines. size of it. We should be oh. careful. Oh my god, look at that thing! Oh! Damn it! To me! Displaying data on central wiring hub! Oh shit! Okay, I think I'm fighting this thing, man. I really didn't want to fight this thing right now, but holy moly, I wanted to get to the flight suits. Oh, boy. Holy moly, look at this thing! Oh! Oh my god! We have to destroy this thing. Man, this thing is insanely large, and there's hundreds more of these things. That's the real issue here. From what I know. Oh, and by the way, once you die, if I forgot to mention, there is really uh, no way to uh, head back to where you... Uh, basically, once you die, you die. Like It's not like a typical game where you just respawn kind of you kind of have to go get your body and get your all the stuff you had if not it all disappears I learned it the hard way trust me come on come on yeah but the, the gameplay and the way the, the combat feels is really something else
Those darker purple ones are really hard. You can't destroy those unless you do a heavy weapon attack. Come on, lads. For the glory of mankind. <laughs> Let's get, get to those flight units while we can. There they are, baby. The Gundam suits. I call them Gundam suits. Be but... careful. The skies are packed with anti-air weapons. Oh. Make sure to approach at low altitude. Copy that. Shoot. Whoa. Okay. Let's get it, boys. For the glory of mankind. This thing. Look at this thing. This is what I'm talking about. The different ways that the gameplay changes. I mean, it's insane how this game changes its gameplay. Right here now. Jeez, this does not look good. Got him. Let's go, lads. Target oh, enemies offline. Dead. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Oh, shit. Whoa. What the hell is this thing doing? Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. Oh, shit. Don't tell me he kind of self-destructed, did he? He did. What the? Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? Wait, what? Yo, what? That's a major revelation. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I gotta just expect it to do like a kind of simple mission and then the goliath landed and what the hell whoa okay well new revelation the aliens were hiding underground all along oh so badass yorha this is your commander for the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. All right, let's go. Glory to mankind. For the glory of mankind. I used data to determine the signal source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like way underground. Guess we'll see okay. once we get there. Well, if this is lucky. crazy, man. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? New revelations have emerged. Well, guys, that's all I really kind of wanted to show you guys. Show you guys a little tidbit of Nier Automata. Um, just maybe you guys, in case you guys were curious, maybe you guys were bored trying to find a new game. I honestly can highly recommend Nier Automata. Even though I haven't played it that much, this game has truly impressed me and has honestly really taken 
the the next level of gameplay and of what we should expect honestly because this is such a good variety has such good variety has amazing uh, attention to detail and honestly i would highly say that as of now uh, this is a 10 out of 10 for me um i'm gonna go more into this game this isn't really a review this is only like a one take i uh, honestly just couldn't help but show you guys this game Either way, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little tidbit. I honestly didn't expect what we just encountered there. A huge Goliath, the revelation that the aliens might be underground. This is crazy. Either way, guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Have a good one. If you're new, please subscribe. Goodbye.